Hello and welcome to this quick video with some radio control news. Now, for those of you that have watched the channel for a while, you'll know exactly what this is. This is the ZOHD Altus. This is a VTEL twin that I looked at a little while ago. I'll put a link down below if you want to go and check out that review. Now, I'm a fan of ZOHD products and this is no exception. I like twins for FPV flying. It means that when you put the camera in the nose, it's well out the way of all of the silliness. And I actually designed a little 3D printable part that you can put your Walksnell, HD0, DJI system in or whatever. However, lots of us, when this first came out, took one look at it and said, mm, that should be a VTOL. I wonder if they're gonna bring out a VTOL kit. And the reason for the video today is this is about to happen. This kit will be released on the 13th of November. Now it's going to be available in two different versions. There is uh, just a VTOL kit, which is kind of the bare minimum hardware and you have to kind of supply all your own electronics. It does, however, come with the two servos that you need for the upgraded nacelles, which will replace the ones that are here already on the wings. Or then, and that's about 39 US dollars, I think, but the one I've got in here to show you is the VTOL kit and the power combo. And that's gonna be about 99 US dollars and that has all the hardware and the electronics, so your motors, ESCs. Obviously you're gonna to need to supply your own flight controller and stuff to go into the middle. But this now means that if you liked the look of the Altus or maybe you already have one and you've been thinking about turning it into a VTOL, the kits are now available. So good news for those of you that have been waiting for this. So let me go and show you it close up. One little caveat before I get too far into this. Again, it is a tilt rotor kit. So there is a bracket and motor set up for the rear. That is going to give you the tail piece. And then there are two larger nacelles that are going to replace the ones in the wings. They include quite a beefy servo in this setup, and I like to see that because that's one of the common failure points with this, and upgraded motors all the way round as well as props as well. So let me just jump on the bench and show you what you get with the VTOL kit plus the power combo. That's the more expensive one at 99 US dollars. So this is how mine arrived. So first of all, these are the new nacelles that are going to replace the ones that are currently on the wing. So these are two clamshells. They're marked left and right, so you can't mix them up. Uh, the big boxy part is the bit that goes forwards. So that's where the servo is going to live. Uh, the pieces at the back go into where the existing motor nacelles are. And you can see here, it's got the uh, counterclockwise and clockwise so you can see the direction and it's clearly marked left and right so it's going to be hard to mix those up but when you're installing them just be super careful that you are putting them the right way round but these are really nicely finished injection molded plastic pieces with all of the bits that you're going to need to kind of put them into position and they're even marked inside which is which as well so if you actually get the halves the wrong way around and you hopefully don't put them in the wrong place. So that is the nacelle replacements. Then we have the mounts for the tail. So these are the two metal mounts along with a plate that go around the boom that's going to hold on the horizontal, the third motor at the back that's going to work. So again we have this little plate. I don't think it's carbon fiber or if it is it's kind of made from powdered carbon fiber but quite nicely you have these metal pieces here that provide the pieces that are going to go around the tail and there's two of those so that should provide a nice rigid attachment for the rear motor speaking of motors and props because this has got the power combo we have the replacement parts this is the motor that's going to go on the tilting piece let me just roll it around so you can see it all currently wired together which is great there's going to be two of those obviously you need to set them up for the different rotations so these are the two because these ones are all wired together these are the ones that are going to be the front two pieces and then the third package is going to be the tail now because it's the tail these aren't all soldered together so you have much much longer wires for the motor and this is going to go onto that bracket we've just had a look at and it has bullet connectors and that are going to connect it into the esc that's going to go up towards the body these plastic pieces are part of the tilt mechanism so these are the two pieces that will go and make each bracket two of them one for the left and one for the right 
designed to go around these specific servos again all the screws and everything you need in place and the other side goes in position here one side has the splines that are going to go onto the output of the servos i'll show you the servos in a minute they're quite beefy things the other side goes around a bearing we have updated props in the bag as well two sets of those obviously you're going to need the two counter rotatings for the front and the back one doesn't really matter the thing that's impressed me with this kit is these servos these are serious pieces of kit they're not just standard metal geared servos here they are pretty chunky beefy things and the tilt mechanism goes and is secured on each side as part of the servo so the way it works is that these servos are going to go into position in this location here at the front and then the way it's going to work is that the tilting mechanism is going to go around the side obviously these screws will need to be popped out so you can see it but you see here one side is like a bearing and then the other side is more like a standard metal geared output and these servos i think are some of the best parts of this particular design from zohd i think some of the other servos that i've seen in some of the other kits have been a little bit lacking and that makes the tuning and setup and configuration an awful lot harder so i'm interested to see how people get on with these but using these along with all the plastics that have been provided mean that they should provide a pretty solid mount for the motors and also a pretty solid reliable repeatable movement for things like the tilt mechanism as well which is a big part of what causes pilots problems when they're actually building these things themselves so there you have it if you've been waiting for this it's now here again available in two different versions there's the one that we've just had a look at which is about 99 us dollars there's the cheaper version which is just the vtol kit which is about 40 dollars 39 40 dollars i would personally get the one with the power combo that means you get the upgraded escs you get all the electronics and everything else then it's just a case of plumbing it into your flight controller and figuring out all of the settings Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payless360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.